Hello everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and I'm back with another process video for you. This one is for the reveal of the January Let's Get Sketchy sketch. I am on their design team for the 2021 term and I'm super excited because if you know me, you know I love working with sketches. And if you love working with sketches, definitely go to the Let's Get Sketchy blog, which is linked below so that you can play along with this month's sketch and see all the past sketches and really let those inspire you to create something. So, um, what I'm doing here is something that I actually end up not keeping, but I decided to leave it in the process video because it was part of the process. And sometimes this happens when you start scrapbooking a page, you kind of have an idea in your mind of what you want it to be, what you want it to look like and you get started and you do a little bit of it, especially when it comes to mixed media. Um, and then you go, oh wait, <laughs> this doesn't really work. This isn't, this isn't turning out the way I envisioned. So that's what happened with this. So I was using an Ulta New stencil and some Tim Holtz Misting Spray in Victorian Velvet. Beautiful color. And I liked it because it was a light pink and um, some of the papers and uh, embellishments that I'm using are also kind of a a pastel -y vibe. Um, and I wanted to, you saw in the original sketch that was at the beginning of this video, there's, it looks like there's a little bit of mixed media in the background. So I was like, oh, I'll use this stetch, uh, the, the stencil, stetch, this stencil for that, the mixed media portion of it. Um, and then uh, there are two photos. Now I'm going to, well, one seems like it's, you know, like a, a four by six or something more rectangular. And then there's a smaller one that's more of a square. So I cut down a four by six photo into a square and I kept that one for regular four by six. And I'm gonna shift the sketch to its side. Um, so I'm just backing these summertime photos. This was us playing in, we got a new inflatable pool this summer. Um, I actually got it for free from work, so it was pretty amazing. And then I'm like, oh no, um, the photos are too big. They're like bigger than the, the mixed media <laughs> stencil that I did. Um, so that's a bit of a problem because obviously when you do mixed media, sometimes stuff gets covered up. And that's just the nature of the mixed media game. Um, but I didn't want to cover up everything that I did. That defeats the purpose. So I'm kind of like letting it simmer. And I'm cutting some paper strips. Um, I didn't have a lot of pattern paper. So I'm just taking those cut aparts and kind of cutting off um, a solid color strip. And I'm doing strips because on the original sketch, there were... Um, like paper strips or it could have been washi tape, what, you know, whatever, um, in between the two photos, kind of as the, the bisecting line between top and bottom photo. So I knew I had some washi tape. I wanted to use some paper strips. I was thinking of like maybe layering them up somehow. I, I don't know. Um, and here I'm st like, I'm trying to, to make that background work, that mixed media background work. And it just, it just doesn't. And that's okay if you do something with mixed media, even though I did this on Vicki Booten Foundation's paper, which is like gold, okay? It's so hard to find sometimes. Um, it, that doesn't mean that you can't start over. And I'll probably use that background paper for something else, something that fits better. Or maybe I'll even like cut the stencil pieces out and use them on another layout as part of like the embellishments or something. Um, so yeah, this just... Just don't get discouraged if you do mixed media and you're like, wow, this really is not what I was expecting because you, you can fix it, okay? You can either use it on another layout or just start over. You know, it's, it, there's always a way to make mixed media work. Now I have to figure out a way to make all of these paper strips work. They're all very small. So the original sketch had like a long one. I think there might have been a couple. It looks like they were layered. So that's what I, I my original intention was, but they were just all so small that it wasn't going to work out. Okay, so I end up, as you see I'm doing here, using the paper strips and some washi to just kind of create like um, a paper strippy patterned paper thing, the line that goes all the way across the page to bisect 
both of my photos. And that ends up turning out pretty good. I, I think it works pretty well. Um, I like the combination that of the, the thin strips and the wide strips and the washi tape. The Most of the paper, I think, is Simple Stories from this over the summer. And then the washi tape is the last strip that I have of my Studio Tectoric summer uh, washi tape collection. So that's kind of fun to be using up some bits and pieces from my stash for this layout. Um, what else do I want to tell you about? Well, here's something that you're going to find is a little bit different. And this is what I love about sketches. So the original sketch had hexagon shapes in it, hexagons and tags. And I have a hexagon punch, so it would be really super easy for me to punch out some hexagons out of pattern paper. No big deal. But I had some coordinating simple stories, die cut ephemera pieces. And I'm like, why don't I use those to do the pl to do in place of the hexagons. So that's what you're going to see in just a second. Um, here I am bringing that Tim Holtz Victorian velvet color back, just doing a little bit of splattering. And in hindsight, see, when I didn't use the original mixed medium that was on Vicky, B B Vicky Boot and Paper, um, I decided, I was like, oh, I'll probably do some splattering um, and I'll just pick like a regular piece of my white coordinations cardstock. No big deal. But this misting spray is a little, I think it's a little thick um, compared to some of the other misting sprays that I've used. So there was, you know, it's a little bit of like paper warpage and I was trying to dry it. Um, I think it would have been better if I had just used another piece of my foundations paper. But once again, hindsight. All right, so it is it is dry. Now I need to figure out where I'm going to put everything. And you can kind of see while I was trying to let it dry, um, I sort of pieced out a couple of those embellishments so that I could get a feel for where I wanted them to go behind the photos. Um, and I ended up when I was piecing them out on, just on my on my table. Um, obviously, I didn't stay within like the twelve by twelve border. So um, some of them are not going to be used or some of them, I was going to put them like underneath something and uh, you'll, you'll see. Um, I should have taken a picture so that I could remember where I wanted everything to be. Um, but anyway, so again, just like the sketch, I've got the four by six photo um, on one side and the smaller square photo on the other side. And yes, I do cover up some of those splatters, but most of them you can still see. That summer word is, I think it's... um like American Crafts Simple Stories. It's a Thickers, but I think it was part of a Simple Stories collection. And I love when there are words um, because they're ready-made titles. Perfect for that, you know? So I'm also adding in some Ellie's Studio chipboard stickers that were from the summer that I've been saving. One of them says Popsicle Party, which is perfect because the bottom photo is my daughter um, eating a popsicle. And then one of them says in a pool, which is, of course, perfect because we were in our little inflatable pool. Um, and I'm not, it kind of looks like I'm just wearing a long sleeve hoodie. That's actually my swimsuit cover up. Um, so yeah, I was wearing a swimsuit. I wasn't like, I don't know, dressed for the winter, although that's what it kind of looks like. But the, the swimsuit cover up I have is long sleeved because I actually purchased it last January. Or no, yeah, last January. Um, before taking my daughter to someone's pool theme, pool birthday party. Um, I didn't want to have a short sleeve cover up because I was like, oh, it's going to be cold. I mean, it's, it was an indoor pool, but still, I was like, I don't want to be cold. Um, so I got a long sleeve one. Anyway, you don't really need to know that, but it wasn't Target. And I was going to get both because they were supposed to be on sale, but they were not. So I only got one. So now all I have is a long sleeve swimsuit cover up. Maybe I should remedy that this summer. Um, I've also got the, those are the simple stories, um, die cut ephemera pieces. The June word is from old Chicky studio. They're no longer in business. Um, but I still, I had some of their, like their calendar words. Um, there's another, uh, Ellie studio chipboard sticker that says big splash and see I forgot to, I wanted to layer the flower shop truck behind that one sticker. And then I had an ice cream piece that I was actually going to layer behind something else and I forgot, but it doesn't matter because the, I think the photos are actually like kind of bigger than what the original sketch called for. So I didn't want to, and I, I didn't want to cover up all of my splatter. Obviously I put it there for a reason. Um, so this is kind of like the layout coming together. I'm just going to 
kind of add that piece down at the bottom under my photo so that it kind of looks um, like it's an extension of the one above, even though they're not right on top of each other. But I just kind of like the look of that frame piece that's there. Um, and then something really fun. So you never know. I had this. It's, it was like a planner insert, and it had the sequins, sequins inside. And I didn't have a planner that worked with it because it, it was hole punch. And I don't use a, a planner where I can, it's like, I don't use a, a D-ring binder plan, planner. So I've been saving it like, oh, I use it for something. Um, and all, right before I was going to throw it away, I saw it out on my desk. And I'm like, you know what? That's a great sequin mix. I'm just going to open it up and use the sequins on my scrapbook pages. And this one is perfect because it's a very summery mix with some yellows, uh, pinks, and blues, kind of like the same colors that I've got going on on this layout. So I always place my sequins before I glue them down. Um, so that's what you're seeing. I will not make you watch me glue them down. So just so you know, this video is almost over with. Don't worry. Um, if you liked this video and you want to see more, well, let's start off first. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more scrapbook process videos for the Let's Get Sketchy design team, the Challenge Yourself design team, and other fun scrapbook process, scrapbook layouts that I just create for fun, um, then definitely click subscribe below, hit the bell so you get the notifications, and the close-ups are going to follow. I hope that this was inspirational for you. Please let me know in the comments if you have questions about the products, the sketch, the, the contest, the challenge, anything. I'd love to hear from you. I will see you guys next time. Happy scrapping!